Hey there, this is for the benefit, well, of everybody, but for a customer, our first customer for bagpipe drone ribbons. And in another video, an earlier video, I'd said, <clears throat> I'd commented on the waste of cutting drone ribbons from standard stock, because in two yards of cloth at $110 a yard, you're only getting one, two, three, five sets or, or five ribbons, which is horribly wasteful. The rest of it winds on the floor. So I got DC Doug Leash to weave me a piece, I got quite a bit of it, where there's absolutely zero waste. The white lines represent cutting lines. So we've made our first set of six ribbons, which the customer is going to come by and collect. Now I'm just going to show how to mount these things because uh, bagpipe drone ribbons used to be, they just people left them on all the time, which is what I've done with my pipes. I, I was going for a bit of a retro look and I just sewed them on. But these days it changes with the order of dress. If you're full dress, you're wearing the ribbons. If you're not wearing full dress, the, the ribbons come off. Now I haven't, I've seen these fastened with uh, little Velcro dots. I've seen them with dome fasteners, but I haven't sewn these, or at least I haven't put fasteners on myself because everybody's, I found that everybody's uh, spread of their drones is different. I, I affect, I prefer quite a wide spread. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. And of course, oh, there we are. So when you get the ribbons, they're tacked together with white cotton thread at either end and in the middle. So we take one end and we judge a finger span, an adult finger span, that's a hand span, that's about eight inches-ish. So about, about like that. And then we see where the, um, the pattern uh, lines up on the drones. Now, I'm not sure, it's certainly not written in stone, but, but I remember when I was a piper all those decades ago with the, uh, with the army, that the dress regulations called for the red cross, just like the front apron and the kilt, to be centered on the middle drone. So we start with that hand span, we locate it to the drone. Oh, look, it's a little bit out. Let's adjust it ever so slightly. Now, what you're going to have to do is use safety pins pinned from the back, one on either side. Um, I've seen black painted safety pins. The Army used to have them as a stock item. I'm not sure if they're still in the system or if you can find them elsewhere, but safety pins pinned from the back will be relatively unobtr relatively unobtrusive. So we pin the middle drone, then we stretch out, we pin the outer drone, we stretch out, we pin the base drone, and purely fortuitously on my pipes, the red cross lines up on each drone, but I can't uh, imagine that's gonna happen in all cases. So having pinned there, we bring it up, giving a little bit of well, this is a matter of taste, how much of a slack you give here, because the whole purpose of this slack originally was to give you, uh, the original purpose of the drone ribbons, of course, was to hold the drones in position, and this was to allow you enough um, spare material that you could adjust the top drone as, as required, the top uh, section of the drone. So pinned there again, and then the last two, passed through, and I'd suggest one subtle pin right there. And there you go. Um, as usual, any questions, comments, or concerns, get in touch with me and we'll straighten them out. Thank you.